The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Welcome to my channel. My name is Samuel and I want to make self-growth normal. If you want to make self-growth normal because I don't want to do it alone and who doesn't want to make self-growth normal then make sure to smash that like button. A quick background here, if you want to skip right to the review, I totally understand. The time of the video where that starts can be found right around my breast area at this very moment. I've listened to 230 books. A lot of the how many did I review so far? 114? I've reviewed in the last six months? Wow, that's Crazy, I reviewed 114 books in six months. That's wild. A lot of them I actually listened to before to also cut costs and also look at a lot of that information, each book just one more time, and tell other people about what I learned. It's not just something I'm very passionate about, but what may or may not go without saying I love applying the information I'm learning from these books. That's why I quit renovations to go into sales. I can apply way more of this information in sales. But if you watch my channel and you care about results in your life, in your relationship, in your work, in your bank account, I'm gonna make a bold assumption that you love getting rewarded for what you do. Keyword of do. What you do with the info that you take in. Not simply taking the info in alone, because simply taking the info in alone is not enough. And the real, the only reason I'm talking about applying all this info and getting better results in your life and stuff is because that's kind of where this book ties in. For me at least, I can wholeheartedly say this book is in like the top five, maybe even, f no, maybe not three, but it's definitely in the top five in terms of how much it changed my life. It's very important to realize where you are and then start small from where you are. And when it comes to smarting, Smarting stall. Starting small. <laughs> the book says all you need to know. There's a similar book called Atomic Habits I reviewed last year by James Clear. They are compared to each other a lot. I think by just me, I don't even know. But honestly, I think I like this one a little bit more because it's a little bit more mm, straightforward. But let's stop talking about all this random mishmash and get right to the summary, shall we? The author Darren Hardy of this book has been in oh, one of the many leaders of the self-help industry for, what, I think like 20 years or something now. He's mentored over uh, 10,000 entrepreneurs. He interviews uh, top achievers in every field that he can and analyzes what they have in common with each other. And he's constantly Constantly organizing and filtering and sorting information to find this clarity of half a dozen basics that will comprise the compound effect. Success is not doing 5,000 things really well. Success is rather doing half a dozen things 5,000 times. What's weird to me about this book is like with how it's organized and how unique the concept is, those things to me are really not all that astounding. They're definitely not bad, but they're definitely, they're not really outstanding. What's outstanding to me about this book is how useful the information is and the quality of examples that he uses. So what is the compound effect? He does have a background in real estate, but I think he got the idea from investing or maybe those interviews with people for, for Success Magazine. But there's a lot of, you know, compounding involved in property accumulation anyway. Think of it like this. If you had one choice of the two things here, one of them is a million dollars like right now. The other one is a penny. But wait, it's not just a penny. It is a penny that every single day multiplies by two for 31 days. This is the power of compounding. You know what that penny would turn into? <laughs> like so much. Every day it gets bigger in a bigger way than the last. So a penny might not sound like much, but the results are like exponential exponential. After 31 days, the penny turns into, what is it? $10,737,418.24. It's way more than I thought it would be. It's over 10 times what your friend would have immediately. So imagine if you could do that with your physical health, your spiritual health, your sense of purpose in your life, your relationships. And what's easy about doing this yourself, just doing the same thing over and over again, when you're consistent, it becomes a habit. If you make small choices and actually follow through with them, like, I don't know, like calling your family member once a week. You will be very surprised at, in, in, in maybe like a couple months or less, at the difference in how it makes you feel about yourself as a person. Especially if you would not really consider yourself one to gravitate toward your family in your free time. I've done this. I've done this with more than one family member, and it helps a lot. And if you like books like this, chances are talking to your family member, you can convince them to start applying the compound effect themselves, and you can change your lives together. The author also explains things like the law of attraction. However, 
In self-help, when you talk about the law of attraction, a lot of people turn their heads in different directions. Because <laughs> he doesn't just explain how it works in a way that's easy to understand, but he also talks about how he used it to find, or I guess attract his wife. I use the law of auto-suggestion to, to find my girlfriend. Maybe I used the law of attraction in some vague way as well. When I heard his story, I was like, that's almost kind of... Creepy. <laughs> it's a lot more impressive than anything, though. I'm currently doing 30 push-ups every morning. In two weeks from now, I will up it to 40. And I'll start doing one bicep curl with a 50-pound weight per arm. And then in three weeks after that, I'm gonna start doing 50 push-ups every morning and two bicep curls. The best shape I was ever in in my life, I was in when I did this with like four different workouts every single morning for about a year. And what's so cool is seeing more and more and more of it as time passes. Made a huge difference in my self-confidence. Like the results and everything are big and they start small, but it can only happen when you're doing it with those small changes. Because willpower doesn't work. What works is what Darren Hardy likes to call why power. So these are just some ways I'd, I've applied the book's contents to my life. The author has short stories all about his, and even some of his friends and his business partners. And I really liked a lot of them. Speaking of friends and business partners, he also talks about the quality of the people you have around you and how that affects the quality of you, yourself. And in self-help, this is a very, 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 very common thing. Just like the law of attraction, but do people talk as much or even close to as much in self-help about what kind of content we read and watch on a daily basis? I don't think so. No, they don't. Do they? Am I not, am I not paying enough attention to this? Because in the information age, I don't think it's at all worth underestimating the effect that that has on someone. I think the fact that the media drives fear into the general public, fear of death, fear of poverty, fear of criticism, fear of all the six basic fears that are listed in Think and Grow Rich, my favorite book by Napoleon Hill. The media just drives all of those fears like crazy into the general public, all these giant news sources. A lot of people, it seems like they don't even realize that they have the ability to choose. I mean, America is still a very free country at least, at the very least in this aspect. To pay their attention to more positive, inspirational, educational content, like audiobooks or podcasts. The fact that people, I mean, that's a huge, huge, huge elephant in the room that I don't think enough people are talking about. Do you? This book overall, it's, 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 quite faultless. It maybe, maybe it could have been a little bit more complex, but I don't think it really needed to. Like, I think that really would have been like the opposite of Darren Hardy's intentions with this book. This book is very accessible and understandable. Bouncing off of that, again, I think like a major difference between atom this book and Atomic Habits. This one talks a lot less about how, you know, habits are engineered and stuff like that. A lot of people say that motivation doesn't help and that you need discipline instead. I agree with them. I do. But how to become disciplined is probably the biggest thing you can really get out of this book one step at a time. But like Jeff Bezos says, if you're going to take one step at a time, do it viciously. So let's start doing that, shall we? What you appreciate, appreciates. You cannot see what you don't look for and you cannot look for what you don't believe in. Direction one. Who do I recommend this book to? A lot of the successful people he interviewed, the ones he noticed used the compound effect in their lives, they are not young. Chances are they've been, whether they know it or not, applying the compound effect for years. I'm young. I'm 22. If you're like me or even younger, I recommend checking this book out and letting the compound effect work for you. The younger you are, like the more time you have to watch all of these results compound, the better. Otherwise, I mean, even if that's not the case, even if you're not that young, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's like kind of just getting started with self-help or looking to change their life, like like take it in, take their life 
in a very definite direction. Direction two, if you like this book, like I said, Atomic Habits by James Clear is one book probably deep down a very similar alley. Some of the stuff like ridding your life of negative media consumption reminded me of Millionaire Success Habits by Dean Graziosi. And if you're really ready for some topsy, tipsy, topsy-turvy outburst of energetic sunshine, Check out High Performance Habits by Brennan Burchard. The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. There's a link in the description if you guys wanna check it out and read the reviews. That and any other books that I mentioned in this video if you wanna check those out too. If there are any other books that you guys want me to check out and review, please let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you checked out this book and you liked it, but hey, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, because people watch this far into my videos and I don't get why they don't subscribe, but if you have subscribed, and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to receive a notification every time I drop a new video. That would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere, and I will see you then.